Today I'm speaking with Peter Koch. He's the program manager and fleet chief of the Bombardier C series at Swiss. Uh, can you give us a status update on the C series phase in process? Yes, absolutely. We're three months ahead of uh, getting delivery of our very first aircraft. So um, we are in course of training the pilots. Currently they have 24 pilots, instructors in training, 48 technicians that are being trained right now and the cabin attendants are just about to travel to Montreal to receive their very first training. Documentation procedures are finalized and prepared and also handed in to our authority to get the necessary approval for the operation here in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. How are you and Swiss involved in the route uh, proving process? Together with the colleagues from Bombardier, we had always a team with us on uh, one or two pilots on the observer seat. We had technicians accompanying the flights and we have people from ground operations that assisted Bombardier but also checked with our destinations abroad if they would be ready to receive the aircraft in Q3 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the most significant changes in operational perspective compared to the Avro? Compared to the Avro, most significant it has no onboard stairs so we need external air bridges and definitively we need if possible to park the aircraft at an air bridge, that is what the aircraft is built for. We have a huge cargo volume we can transport, so we need more people to load the aircraft to still maintain the turnaround times as on the Avro. Mm -hmm. Operationally, the aircraft will fly rather faster than the Avro, so it will optimize the, the current network, the flight times actually, and of course financially all the savings with the fuel savings and costs, that is the major difference to the other. What are the expectations for the dispatch reliability? Expectations dispatch reliability is rather straight, 99% at entry into service. That is what was agreed upon with uh, Bombardier and actually what we have seen out of the functional and reliability testing, being it in North America or also here in Europe, it is proven that we will reach that target. May you tell us uh, something about the differences in operating the uh, CS100 versus the CS300? The CS100, as being a bit a shorter aircraft, is uh, made definitively for short field operation. That uh, was one of the conditions that the aircraft can take off and land in London City as well as in Florence, our two major airports. So short field operation and I would say medium range European flights whereas the CS300 will have and will offer more seats and we plan to fly that aircraft also to our farthest European destinations. Thank you very much, Peter. Very welcome.